Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com and today we're going to take a look at this SureCall Flare 3.0 in-home cell phone signal booster with this directional antenna. Now if dropped or garbled calls keep you wandering around your home looking for a signal, this might be a good solution for you to consider. SureCall's cell phone signal booster gives multiple users a stronger connection at your home, your office, or cabin, wherever you decide uh, that you need to use this, and you can always be in touch. This cell phone signal booster improves weak cellular connections to nearby cell towers, while at the same time, it's gonna improve call quality and internet speeds for multiple users. Another benefit is that it will preserve your phone battery because it's not struggling to find a signal. This booster module works with all major North American carriers, Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, and US Cellular. And this is compatible with 3G, 4G, LTE, and 5G connections. Now, for this to work, you would have to mount this exterior Yagi directional antenna to a vertical post with the included hardware that you see here, ideally at the highest point of your home, closest to a nearby cell tower. And then you would just point it at the nearest cell tower to capture the strongest signal. And just some overall uh, measurements of this uh, external Yagi antenna. Uh, we are sitting at 17 and a half inches long and at its highest point it is about eight and a half inches tall and at the widest point about two and a half inches wide. After you have this Yagi antenna mounted on a pole outside your home at the highest point, you would then begin to route the included 50-foot cable inside your home to the interior Flare 3.0 booster antenna. And the booster antenna will work best when placed at a minimum of 25 feet from the exterior antenna. And then you would just plug the booster antenna into the 12 volt AC outlet with this included power supply. The LED indicators on this booster antenna is going to let you know at a glance what the booster status is. Yellow lights indicate signal adjustment needed. Red lights is going to indicate possible reception issues and may require antenna adjustment. It has a green power light that is on to let you know when this is plugged in and operational. Now the overall dimensions for the booster antenna itself, we're gonna be sitting at about five and one eighth inches wide and seven and a quarter inches tall and about five and five eighths inches deep. The operating temperature is negative four Fahrenheit to 158 degrees Fahrenheit. The maximum signal boost is 72 decibels and the power consumption is less than 12 watts. By the way, it is normal for the booster um, case to become warm during operation, so just be mindful when placing it on any surface that may be affected by heat. The cell phone signal booster cannot provide connection if no signal is present. Generally, a cell tower will need to be at least 30 to 50 miles away. Now this kit does include everything that you see here before me. Again, it includes the Flare 3.0 booster antenna. It includes the power supply. It includes this uh, 50 foot of cable, the exterior Yagi antenna, the mounting hardware, and then the hardware that you would need to route your cable um, around the inside of your house safely to get to your booster antenna. And then of course, instructions as well. Now it is important to note that before use, you must register this device with your wireless provider and have your provider's consent. Most providers consent to the use of signal boosters. Some providers may not consent to the use. 
of this device on their network. The four largest carriers, AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, and U.S. Cellular, and more than 90 regional carriers have given blanket consent for use of all boosters certified to the new FCC standards. All four major carriers do allow registration via online form. Well, that's going to conclude our look today. I do hope that it is helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.